Welcome to another episode in the Georgia Workers' Compensation video series. My name is Jason Perkins, and I'm an attorney who specializes in handling Georgia workers' compensation cases. I created this series of videos because I wanted to provide people who have been hurt at work with helpful information about Georgia's workers' compensation law and the benefits they should receive under that law. Today, I want to talk to you about how does a workers' compensation adjuster decide your settlement amount? The first question that we need to talk about there is, what is a workers' compensation settlement? A settlement is a negotiated lump sum amount of money that you accept in exchange for giving up your future workers' compensation rights. So you can think of it like a final payment on your case. Once you negotiate and accept a workers' compensation settlement, your case is generally done with. Um, the insurance company is not going to have to pay you any more future workers' compensation benefits after that. Now, in Georgia, settlement's not anything that you ever have to do. It's voluntary on your part. Um, the insurance company cannot force you to settle your workers' compensation case. Also, workers' compensation settlements in Georgia have to be approved by a workers' compensation judge before they're final. Um, so you can't just negotiate a settlement with the insurance company and then move forward with it. That settlement has to be submitted to and approved by a workers' compensation judge. And then it becomes an order of the State Board of Workers' Compensation and the insurance company will have to pay the settlement amount to you. Now, let's talk about, does the workers' compensation adjuster actually decide the settlement amount in your workers' compensation case? Well, the answer to that question is yes and no. Um, you can't actually be forced to settle your workers' compensation case. So to that extent, the adjuster doesn't actually decide a settlement amount and then force you to take that. Um, you don't ever have to settle your case if you don't want to. You don't have to settle your case for less than you want to. So the adjuster can't decide a settlement amount um, in that capacity. But the adjuster generally does make a decision about what the workers' compensation insurance company is willing to pay as far as settlement of your case. And just like you can't, the adjuster can't force you to settle, you can't force the insurance company or the adjuster to settle either. Um, so since the adjuster is going to be making a decision about what the insurance company is willing to offer in settlement, the adjuster does have some decision-making capacity over what your case settles for. Um, this is going to affect what you're going to be able to get if you do decide to settle your case. So let's talk about how adjusters make those decisions about what they're willing to offer in workers' compensation settlements. How adjusters do this is they evaluate your workers' compensation case. They do what's called a settlement evaluation. And when they're doing that, what they're primarily looking at is what your case is going to cost them in the future. Because if the insurance company doesn't settle your case, then they're going to leave it open and they're going to have to pay out maybe certain workers' compensation benefits going forward. Maybe it's weekly checks, maybe it's medical bill payments. Um, so they're going to look at what your case is going to cost them going forward if they don't settle. That helps them make a decision on what they're willing to offer in settlement. Um, now, how are they going to know what the future holds? They're going to do this based on their past experience. Uh, most insurance companies have many workers' compensation cases open. And they've had cases that have been open in the past that are probably similar to yours. So they're going to look at what those cases have cost them. They're also going to look at the medical records from the doctor and try to predict how long you're going to be out of work in the future and what your case is going to cost them moving forward. Are they going to have to keep paying you weekly benefits? So there's going to be more medical bill payments that they have to make on your case. Um, that helps them decide what they're willing to offer in settlement. Um, now, the adjuster makes this decision, but that doesn't mean that the decision can't be changed later. Um, the adjuster may decide that your case is likely to cost them one thing, um, but may be able to convince them or an attorney acting on your behalf may be able to convince them that your case is actually going to cost them more and get them to increase their settlement offer. Now convincing an adjuster to do that does take a lot of specialized workers' compensation knowledge because you have to really have an understanding of how insurance companies evaluate settlements and also be able to convince them that your case is going to cost them more in the future than they thought it was going to cost. And give them the reasons why that is going to be the case. Hope you found this information about how workers' compensation adjusters decide settlement amount, settlement amounts helpful. If you have, please let me know that. One of the best ways you can do that is by liking this video or giving it a thumbs up. And if you've got more questions about Georgia workers' compensation, whether it's settlement or any other issue in a workers' compensation case, I'd encourage you to get answers to those questions. 
One of the best ways you can do that is setting up a free consultation about your case. If you'd like to schedule a free consultation with me, there's two easy ways you can do that. The first is by calling the phone number on the bottom of the screen. And the other is by reaching out to us to our website, which is www.perkinslawtalk.com. Just click on and submit the free consultation request form. And a member of our team will reach out to you and get that consultation scheduled. I'd like to thank you again for watching this video today. I want to wish you the best of luck as you recover from your injuries.